Hello everybody, we are going to start Planet 4 Science Chapter number 14 Keeping our Earth clean, uh, green and clean Pinky goes to her grandmother's place during every summer vacation On the way, she enjoyed the green forest and clean rivers okay. So Pinky every time she is going to her grandmother's place okay then uh, wherever she is going she was enjoying green forest clean rivers okay and this time while she was going to there she noticed that the forest had become become less dense okay and she has noticed that the forest had become dense then she saw that some men were cutting down the trees. She saw that some men were cutting the trees. Then she also noticed that the color of the river water had changed. And she also noticed that the color of the water river that is also changed. Uh, poly bag, poly bags and dirty clothes were flo flowing in the river. Okay, then so. She became upset, upset, and asked her father about all the war, all that was happening there. Her father replied, "My dear daughter, it is because of increasing population and human activities." Her father make make her realize that, dear beta, this is how because of the increasing of the population and. Because of the human activities, all the things are happening like this. Then they are destroying nature. They are destroying nature resources and natural resources and polluting the environment. Okay, and they, he also added that they are disturbing. They are disturbing or destroying the natural resources as well as they are polluting the nature. Then we all should know about deforestation, afforestation, and pollution. In this lesson, we are going to learn about that. Okay, in this lesson, generally we will learn deforestation, afforestation, and pollution. Now, all living things and non living things around us, like plants, animals, and so on, and air form our environment. Okay, so because of this, all the environment has been happened because of living and non living things like plants, animals, sun and air form our environment. Okay, then importance of trees. Trees, okay, first of all trees. Give fruit and vegetables to eat. Okay, trees are giving us vegetables and fruits to eat. Then gives oxygen to all living things to breathe. So trees are giving us oxygen also for breathing. Okay, then clean the air by checking the carbon dioxide. And by taking carbon dioxide, trees are taking carbon dioxide and they are making air clean. Okay, then help reduce soil erosion and by holding the soil. Okay, they are holding the soil. Trees are holding the soil so that soil erosion will stop or will not be happen. Okay, then help the increase rain as they release water vapor in the atmosphere. Okay, so as they are releasing the water vapor in the atmosphere. They are, it helps or they have to cause rain also. Then deforestation, what do you mean by deforestation? Cutting down of trees in a large number that is known as deforestation. See if we will cut down the trees in a number of time or number of trees then that is known as deforestation. Causes of deforestation, these are being, trees are being cut for the following reasons. Furniture, paper, medicine etc are obtained from trees. Okay. So, furniture, paper, medicine, all the things have been obtained, obtained from the trees. Human population is increasing day by day. So, more ideas, more areas are, is required to shelter. Okay, for shelter also day by day the population is increasing and because of that we need houses, we need to live in, right? So, that is why we are cutting the trees, we are deforestating all the things. Then, effort, uh, effects of deforestation. There may be less or no rain, okay. There will be no rain or less rain. Then decrease the air quality, quality and increase the atmospheric temperature, okay. And our air quality will be decreased. Decrease means low down. Our air quality will be low down and 
increase the atmospheric temperature and atmospheric temperature will be increased okay then homes of many animals are destroyed and homes of many animals will be destroyed now how to save trees we can save trees by planting more numbers of trees than we cut so whatever we are cutting trees more than it we have to plant the trees new trees then reduce the reducing reducing the use of products obtained from the tree for example paper okay paper we should reduce to the use okay reduce then then using baskets instead of wooden wooden wood as a fuel in a rural rural areas then creating awareness among all the people about the importance of the trees okay so we have to we have to introduce or we have to just aware about the uh, uh, people to for the people that uh, please don't cut the trees trees are very important for all now a forestation planting trees on a number on a large scale that is known as a forestation if we will plant a number of trees then that is known as a forestation okay uh, trees are valuable to us so we should we all should plant trees and take care of them some other steps taken by the by us to save the trees as followed mar one mahotsav so. it is the festival of trees it is celebrated in the july for of for one one week people plant lakh lakhs of trees lakhs of trees all over the country and take place to protect them protect the nature nature and take care of it okay then world and moment day it is celebrated all over the world in fifth on 5th june okay on 5th june that is a world environment day people discuss the environmental problems on this day and they talk about the ways to save the environment okay that are the principles uh, cutting down of trees in a large number of number is called d number d for b number d for instance okay then one mahotsav is celebrated in the month of anthari c july third number world environment day is celebrated on a number 5th of june okay now what the what is pollution what is pollution let's see what is pollution uh, the addition the addition of a human the addition of harmful substances in air the addition of harmful substances in the air water and soil that can cause harmful discomfort to the uh, human being and other living organism that is known as pollution the harmful substances that that causes pollution are known as pollutants pollution okay then water pollution the additional uh, the addition of harmful substances into the water bodies like lakes rivers and oceans are known as water pollution okay so we should not do water pollution okay and uh, how water pollution is happening washing clothes in a and uh, util utensils in a river lake through it also water pollution has been happened the addition of soap detergent and other chemicals carried by the train into the rivers lakes and seas that through which also can be water pollution happen fertilizers and chemicals from the agriculture fields carried by the rain water into the water bodies the garbage thrown by the people into the water bodies through which also can be water pollution can be happen uh, bathing of animals into the rivers ponds etc so that is why because of this also water pollution can be happen keeping water bodies clean how we can keep water clean we must not we must not wash clothes or bath animals in a water body okay water in water bodies we should not wash clothes as well as do not wash our animals also then we must not throw garbage in the water bodies then we water waste waste water from factories and sewage from the new homes must be treated 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 to the to make them less harmful before letting them flow into the water bodies okay then air pollution what do we mean by air pollution and how bad air pollution has been happening the addition of harmful substances like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and nitrogen 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 dioxide 
into the air that is known as air pollution and how air pollution has been happening happening burning fuels like petrol and diesel in vehicles and coal in factories burning of garbage breathing is polluted air can be affect affect our respiratory system okay and causes disease like uh, asthma on all okay keeping air clean why how we can keep our air clean we should plant more trees okay we should plant more trees and we must get our vehicles fitted with the cng kits and their regular pollution checks must be done okay then tall chimneys with the filter filters must be fitted in the factories to release smoke now soil pollution how the soil pollution can be happen and what are the ways to keep our soil clean a mixing of harmful substances with the soil is called soil pollution okay agricultural waste including chemicals that are used to destroy weeds and pests domestic and industrial waste is uh, so pollution uh, soil pollution makes the soil infertile and affects uh, the growth of the plants it is harmful for all the living animals okay living things then keeping the soil clean how we can keep the soil clean to keep the soil clean we must take some some steps we should dispose domestic domestic waste in a dustbin okay we all the domestic waste we have to keep into the dustbin then sweepers should collect the garbage and dump it into the closed garbage bins and then uh, decomposable the decomposable waste must be dumped into the pit, pit, pits of change into the manure okay now mcq is first number the black from vehicle from vehicle and factory is released into the air making it dirty answer is c smoke second number which of the following is a pollution answer is a sulfur dioxide third number soil pollution makes the soil answer is b number infertile okay answer is b number infertile okay now biodegradable and non biodegradable the waste Uh, the wastes that compose that decomposed or rot rot after some time and get mixed with the soil are called the uh, biodegradable waste okay the waste which which that decompose or rot after rot after some time and get mixed with the soil that is known as biodegradable waste okay uh, this includes paper leaves fruits fruits and vegetable peels uh, things made up made up of wood etc biodegradable waste can be can be converted into the manure okay manure uh, by the letting it decompose in the in deep covered pits okay then animal wastes animal waste like cow dung can be used to produce bagasse or gobar gas that can be used in a fill and you know, as a fill in a village okay then non non bad non bad degradable waste do not do not root root or decompose even after long period of time okay they remain in the soil as much as such a pollute it okay this includes this include things made of plastics glass metals rubbers etc we can ma- manage non de- non de- non biodegradable wastes 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 to some extent by adopting the three r's okay now what do we mean by three r's and which are there let's see the three r's the three r's that we must adopt to reduce pollution and reduce are uh, reduce reuse reuse and recycle okay which are they reduce reuse uh, reuse and recycle reduce reuse and recycle okay first of is reduce reduce means uh, the reduction reduction of waste production by the cutting down the those practices which produce waste okay then 
here are some ways to reduce the weight first of all we must buy only those things that we need okay so whatever the needs whatever the needs are there of the thing that things only we should buy then avoid buying things with a lot of packaging material okay so we should avoid it so whichever things are coming in a buy too much packaging that we have to avoid it then avoid buying throw away products like plastic cups glasses and tins okay so plastic cups glasses and tins whichever are use and throw things we should avoid to use it then or avoid to buy then use of steel plate instead of the paper plate okay we should use steel plate instead of the paper plate then reuse the second one is reuse reuse means using those items again again that otherwise would have been thrown away as waste okay so we should use we should again we can take another time to use that is known as reuse we can use empty glasses or plastic jars to store things such as stickers and dolls okay then we can use biscuits we can use biscuit and cheese tins for keeping things such as clips buttons and needles okay then we can give clothes and toys that we do not use to the poor and needy people okay then recycle the last point is recycle the third point is recycle recycling means converting converting used items into the raw material and then make new products from them okay for example used papers uh, of notebooks can be converted into the recycled paper we we can use the new products again these recycle wastes are generally collected by the khabari walas okay khabari walas in the or, or locality then we should give all the magazines newspapers and other cycle recycled label recyclable things to them then by following golden rules by following golden rules are the the three r we can save a lot of money in natural resources and environment okay so here we have just completed the chapter to make our earth cleaner and greener we should not use plastic bags plastic does not decompose in the soil and keep the on polluting the nature it it, it has harm, uh, harmful effects on us and the environment so we should use the cloth paper cloth paper bags and decompose easily okay so here we have just completed the chapter in the next video we are going to start the second evolution uh, second semester's practice okay revision thank you